Hi, welcome. So today we're going to be looking at uh, Mongo, Mongod, which is really just a Mongo database. Okay? Uh, Mongo database is a NoSQL uh, database uh, that you can pull information from, you know, just like any other database. Uh, you still are able to uh, get into it, call for different things, things like that. Just the syntax could be different for, right? So the very first thing we get is how many TCP ports are open on the machine. Let's go ahead and start off with the Rust scan here, right? So we'll have a clear this out. We'll start off with the Rust scan here. As you see, I already have a folder for it and everything. Looks like there's one, two, it looks like, most likely. Two, uh... Yep, looks like we got two here. Let's go ahead and make sure that's correct. Sometimes they don't show up. So, yep, we do have two. Okay, awesome. Uh, what service is running on port 27017? Let's go ahead and check that out. So we do have Mongo, Mongo uh, database, right? So let's go ahead and check out that map. We'll do a version. Uh, we'll try default scripts. We'll have default scripts. There we go. Okay, we'll do an aggressive scan on this one. Maybe the operating system scan. And then we'll do an attack PN for do not ping. That guy like right there. Attack T5, just for a time to five. Just make it quicker. Attack P27017. Oh, do need sudo with this for an aggressive scan, right? And mostly, um, in all honesty, the attack SC, like right there. And... Um, doesn't really need to be in there. Attack O also doesn't need to be in there if you're doing an aggressive scan. I believe it runs both of those for an aggressive scan, but we'll go ahead and throw them in there just in case. So for default scripts and everything. We do get a bunch of stuff back, right? So we got to see, we can most likely get this database, right? I mean, we're seeing everything in here, you know, for this database and everything like that. So we got some good information here, right? So we, we, will, we can most likely just log into it from our machine over here. Most likely no username and password for it. But there's our Mongo database information, like right here. Don't really know, remember what the question stated. It asked uh, what service is running. All right, so we do have MongoDB 3.6.8, which is right here, MongoDB 3.6.8, right? So that is the version that is running on it. Okay, if we keep looking down, we got what type of database is MongoDB? Like I said at the beginning, it is a NoSQL database. So we can see that right there, NoSQL. What is the command for Mongo shell that is installed with the MongoDB clients package? So if you have Kali Linux straight out of the box, you most likely do not have this um, this installed. If you just go ahead and type in Mongo, it's going to say, you know, would you like to install the Mongo, Mongo um, app to install Mongo? You just say yes, and then it'll go ahead and it'll install uh, Mongo for you. But the command is Mongo. So if we type in Mongo here, we can see that that will turn blue. So we do know that command does exist, right? As we see, Mongo, okay. What is the command used for listing all databases present on the MongoDB server? So all we need to do is we need to go into Mongo, and we need to actually get into this machine, right? So let's go ahead and try this, okay? We'll do a Mongo to the IP address, which I believe it was that one, like, right there. Uh, then we're going to do a colon 27017. All right, it looks like we are getting into it, and we do get into it, right? So it was, what is the command used for listing all the databases? All right, in the Mongo uh, server. So I do have a little Mongo cheat sheet over here that I have, and this could be a show databases, much like uh, MySQL is, right? We don't need to put the little semicolon at the end. And so there we go. There's our, our databases that we have, like right there. And we can show answer. Yep, show DBS is another one, I guess, instead of show databases, so show DBS. There we go. Okay, same exact information, right? So what is the command used for listing out the collections of databases? That's a show collections. Or we could also do a show tables. Uh, we have to actually use the database first. So we would use, let's say, sensitive information. And then we can go ahead and show collections. We can also do a show tables. Okay, we can do that with or without the uh, semicolon there. So we see that there is a tables called flag in here, right? So I believe this one is show collections here. Yep. What is the command used for dumping the content of all documents within the collection named flag? Name flag in a format that's easy to read. Okay, so what we can do here is we can utilize our DB period period. Okay, then the database, the database is flag, right? DB flag, and then we're just gonna say uh, find period find parentheses, and then there we go. Okay, so we go ahead and see if that is the correct answer over here that it wants for us to do. Oh, they have a dot pretty also. We can throw that in there, right? dot pretty okay and this is pretty shell return this okay uh function so i guess there you go okay uh that's what dot pretty would do for us um don't really know if i'm about that life oh like that 
There we go. There's uh there there's how we do it. like right there with the dot pretty. Okay, that makes it easier I guess to read. Uh, I thought didn't think it was too bad like this if you only got a couple uh columns in there. Uh, but then we have lastly submit the root flag. Obviously we have it like right here. So that's Mongo database. Okay, showing a couple different ways to be able to do it. Showing how hack the box watch you do with like show DBS, show collections, and also you know show tables like you'd be more like a MySQL type of uh, thing if you understand that better. And uh, then really just dropping the database, really the hard part in MongoDB, db.flag.find, because flag is the uh, table that we want to drop it from. So not too not too rough, uh, but it does take a little bit of practice to be able to use Mongo database. So hopefully you learned something, and yep, I'll see you all later.